so excited to be here. And uh, in fact, uh, it's a big, always a big pleasure for me whenever I have to come to London, especially. And uh, last time I was here was two years back. Uh, it was in a buyer's sellers meeting, and uh, which was held not far from here, the Hilton Hotel. And uh, I must say that uh, I am a minister uh, in the government of Mauritius. I'm the minister of industry, commerce, and consumer protection. I am uh, a politician uh, since a very long time back now, and uh, I have been in the parliament for almost 15 years uh, as uh, a member of the National Assembly, as junior minister, and uh, as minister as well. And uh, I like challenges, and uh, I like discussions, and uh, I'm someone who is uh, result-oriented. And uh, after three years uh, uh, in uh, the government, because uh, we came uh, to power in uh, December 2014, I am uh, fully satisfied with the uh, first actions of the government, and of course with the actions that uh, myself and uh, my ministry have taken. Well, uh, you know, first of all, Mauritius uh, has got uh, very historical ties with uh, Great Britain. And uh, we all know that Mauritius was a colony of the uh, United Kingdom. And uh, in 1968, we became independent. And this year, we celebrated our 50 years of uh, our independence <coughs> but we have always been uh, close to United Kingdom not only historical and emotional ties but also in terms of trade and uh, I must say that uh, UK is uh, the number one country uh, with uh, which we have very good uh, trading as far as our imports are concerned and even export is concerned we export uh, most of our products to the United Kingdom and uh, why here at uh, pure London because uh, there have been some transformation in uh, some institutions in Mauritius Two years back, as I said, uh, I was here with a delegation from the Enterprise Mauritius at a buyers and sellers meeting, so which dealt mainly with buying and uh, selling. And uh, last year, three main uh, institutions in Mauritius uh, were brought under only one uh, uh, institution, that is. Uh, there was Enterprise Mauritius, a financial services promotion agency, and uh, one more, which was a board of investment. These three institutions were all fused into one institution, that is the Economic Development Board. And the reason for doing that was uh, to avoid duplication of actions. And uh, last time we were here on the part of Enterprise Mauritius, and as I said, it was only a buyers and sellers meeting. But this time, we have seized the opportunity of uh, the organization of uh, this trade fair by Pure London to be here both for investment and promotion. And uh, I must say that uh, I am up to now uh, happy and I'm satisfied. This morning itself, we had uh, a very good meeting with uh, Turkish Airline, with uh, PricewaterhouseCoopers and other stakeholders from different parts of the world uh, where we discussed about uh, trade in Africa and uh, had the opportunity to enumerate all the facilities which Mauritius offers 
to investment and uh, I think uh, some of uh, the participants in uh, the morning mornings uh, a seminar uh, got a very good insight of what uh, we have achieved and uh, what we want to achieve and how we want to achieve it and uh, how today doing business with Mauritius has become so easy that some people do not, do not even believe it. And just after that we are here, which is on the promotion point of, uh, of our mission. So Pure London has come at a very right moment and uh, I have no doubt that uh, of course, we won't have results immediately uh, after such an event, but I'm sure all, the, uh, all those who have uh, been here since yesterday, and uh, they have been developing contacts and all with uh, buyers, I'm sure they're going to come out with something positive. Yeah, in, in, in fact, we, we, we have come up, come up with a panoply of measures in the last two budgets especially. Uh, we have, you know, with the competition in the world, of course, uh, we have to move further because Mauritius is no more a country where we have cheap labor. In the beginning, when we started in uh, early 70s, 80s, labor was very cheap and we used to uh, manufacture a basic uh, a, a clothing and all, but uh, with time, uh, with development, uh, the cost of living in Mauritius started increasing and uh, other countries started emerging with uh, low wages and we, we had to move at uh, another stage and that is when we started investing in capacity building, in training, especially on the quality uh, point of view and uh, slowly Mauritius has become, uh, a, I must say, very well known on the international front as uh, a sourcing destination which is reliable in terms of uh, quality and also in terms of uh, a time frame from Mauritius to any other country because today we are having uh, easy access uh, throughout the world, be it by ship or by air. And uh, Recently, we had to take major decision in order to give a boost, another boost to, to this sector. And uh, as I mentioned it in uh, my opening uh, speech, especially after the Brexit, there was, uh, of course, uh, some apprehension and uh, uh, we were affected, especially with the uh, fluctuation of the pound sterling. And uh, we came up with a scheme which is known as the speed to market scheme whereby we offer 40% rebate on the freight charges to those companies who export to Europe. And uh, you can imagine this is uh, really a, a very good incentive to those companies and uh, many companies have, have seized uh, this opportunity and uh, today this sector is also very dynamic and uh, I know that most of the buyers international buyers they are not like uh, we used to have 15 20 or 25 years back they prefer waiting at the last moment to order because the trend changes and all and financially as well we understand and uh, shipping by, uh, by cargo, by, by, by ship, of course, takes time. And uh, this measure has uh, helped the exporters uh, so that they can uh, be very swift on their deliveries. Then we had uh, another incentive for the exporters, that is export, uh, uh, the, the, the exchange rate support scheme whereby uh, any fluctuation in the foreign exchange which is detrimental to the exporters is mitigated uh, by this uh, scheme and uh, last year as i said uh, we reduced uh, furthermore our corporate tax 
for those companies exporting uh, from 15% to 3%. And uh, of course, there are other measures as well. And uh, I think all these uh, have encouraged uh, the exporters uh, in Mauritius. Uh, and uh, I must say that uh, we had a decreasing trend in our uh, export uh, for the last uh, few years. But uh, I'm happy to say that uh, as from uh, this year, we have seen that uh, the tendency has reversed and we are picking up. And I can say it because uh, just before coming, I had to reply to a question in the parliament because the opposition wanted to know about the situation. And uh, I think uh, with the measure that we have taken, the situation has been reversed and we are confident now that uh, we are on the right track once again. Well, in fact, uh, it, all it, it all started with uh, British ruling over Mauritius. And uh, we have, uh, of course, uh, at that moment, developed affinity for, uh, for Britain. And uh, British knew of uh, what uh, Mauritius had to offer. We started uh, with uh, agriculture, the sugar cane, and uh, this way, we, we came to know the culture of both countries. And in Mauritius, I must say that uh, we, our official language is English. But uh, we have had the chance also of having the French uh, occupying our territory at a certain time <laughs> of our history. And uh, we, are uh, we speak both English and uh, French. And uh, trade with both countries are very good. And uh, I think uh, it's uh, the being given that uh, both, be it the British or the French, having occupied Mauritius for a very long time, that, had, that has brought this uh, trade at this level. And uh, we are doing very well with both countries. Okay, my pleasure. Thank you my very pleasure. Much. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your time. Thank Great you.